I'm in park, but apparently my car wants me to put my seatbelt on even while we're sitting here, so. You happy? Hello, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of Bucks with Brit. I'm totally kidding, but did that just become a thing? I literally just thought of that. <laughs> welcome back to my channel. I am going to take you guys to get one of my favorite teas. I've never shared this before, so I'm really excited, and I think y'all are gonna like it. I'm done chit-chatting, let's get going. We are here and we are waiting and I'm so excited to share this with you guys. It's a blended, blended tea. Thank you, sir. Hi. Hey, Brittany, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Can, are we doing here? I'm actually going to switch it up today. <laughs> um, can I get a venti unsweet passion tango tea with a splash of coconut milk? And can I get two pumps of sugar-free vanilla in that? And then can I get it blended? And that's it. Thank you. They're literally so nice here. And do you see that, guys? You already had my order pulled up, but it was the wrong order. Oops. <laughs> a comment that I noticed a lot in previous Starbucks videos from you guys is how sweet I am to the baristas. Um, I don't know if it's just how I was raised, but like, it, it's it's common courtesy to put your phone down and take the time to talk to them. They made your coffee for you. Be nice to them. Like, I don't know. It just blows my mind that so many baristas deal with such rude customers. Be nice in this world. It makes life a whole lot easier. Hey. Hi. Thank you. You too. the pink drink and here you have it guys the blended pink concoction all right guys so i'm going to add in some liquid stevia but here's the exact order this is a grande iced passion tango tea unsweetened with a splash of coconut milk two pumps of sugar-free vanilla and then ask for it blended the macros for this drink for a venti are 2.5 grams of fat four grams of carbs one gram of protein and roughly like three to four grams of sugar however they gave me a grande i think i asked for a venti i don't know i i could have maybe i accidentally asked for a grande but um so the macros for this drink are probably roughly like two grams of fat uh, two to three grams of carbs and one gram of protein. I'll put the exact macros below for you guys once I calculate them. Like I told you guys, I'm going to add in some liquid stevia, mix it up. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so freaking good. So amazing. It just like, voila, heaven. If you really want to add some sweetness, make sure you add stevia to it because the stevia kind of just like tops it off, makes it 20 times better. Absolutely, undoubtedly, 110% worth it. This drink would be like really good if you're trying to cycle off of caffeine or if you don't drink caffeine, which if you're one of those people that doesn't, mad props to you. Uh, when I did my caffeine cleanse and I was cycling off of it for like six to eight weeks, I had a lot of you guys reach out to me and said that you had actually eliminated caffeine almost completely and I don't know how you do it but that's absolutely impressive um, and it kind of gets me on the track of thinking that maybe it's time to do another caffeine cycle off of it cleanse soon uh, I don't know but if I do it I'll probably announce it to you guys and then if anyone wants to do it with me we can be like it's team effort and you can hold me accountable and I'll hold y'all accountable and we can get through it together. Cycling off of caffeine sucks, so there's really no, no great way to put that. But this drink would make it a lot easier because there's no caffeine in this. Their passion tea has zero caffeine. Um, it's unsweetened, it's zero calories. So the, the calories in this drink literally are coming from the coconut milk. Um, yeah, and that's it, because their sugar-free vanilla is also zero calorie as well. I know I've talked about it before. I'm not a huge fan of the sugar-free uh, syrups, and I don't drink them often. This is the first time that I've actually had it since my previous video, which was the pumpkin spice latte alternative. Um, so I don't drink sugar-free syrups often at all because I do realize that they are not the greatest for you, um, but yeah. 
every now and then is okay. Life is about balance. I also just noticed that Starbucks released a maple pecan latte when I was going through the drive-thru. They're putting me to the test, you guys. <laughs> They're really putting me to the test. If you guys want me to try to make another healthier latte since it's fall and everyone starts drinking hot drinks except Brittany because I like iced coffee year round, give this video a thumbs up right now. My favorite is when someone sees that I'm talking to a camera and they just stare at me. Hi! But seriously, if you guys want me to try to recreate their maple pecan latte or any kind of latte that they have, since it is getting to be the cooler time of the year, comment below and let me know because I love having these bucks with Brit. I feel like that legit just became a hashtag or something. I thoroughly enjoy helping you guys create or creating these healthy drinks for you guys. So if that's something you'll wanna see, let me know below. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I have way too much energy right now, guys, and there was no caffeine in that, woo! As always, make sure to follow my Instagram in case I have any Starbucks giveaways coming up because I do those from time to time. Leave comments below on anything else you'd like to see on my channel and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!